Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. Um, just a quick video today about transplanting my foxglove seedlings. So, um, without further ado, let me just quickly show you. So these are the seedlings of foxglove that I'm going to be transplanting. And these are actually one or two years old actually. Um, I had foxgloves planted in those troughs uh, there's one this one actually flowered this year and then there is a few more in here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna transplant basically all of them might leave a few in here for next year because uh, as you know foxgloves are biennials which means that um, one year they basically grow from a seed this tiny little thing up onto this tiny little thing uh, then they overwinter and next year there will be flowering so in spring I should have flowers from these guys um, and what we'll do is literally just pull them out as they are try to keep as much root as um, as you can uh, and then put it up into either pot or you can plant them directly in the soil in the position and they are very good plants because um, they actually deal with shade quite well they grow in shade with no problems whatsoever so um, if you have spots in your garden uh, that is a bit more shady they will be um, dealing with it very well um, yeah and they they look beautiful with these tall uh, colorful spikes and bees loves uh, bees love them so yeah what's not to like <laughs> but i'll show you quickly like i'm going to be getting this one out just make sure the soil before you transplant in anything when you're just uh, picking picking it up like this is um, moist because when you're picking them up uh, when the soil is dry obviously you will disturb the roots you might even break it as you're pulling it out um, yeah so this is a little new plant and you tell me who doesn't like saving money on plants so yeah I uh, probably will have around maybe 50 hopefully even more because there's a lot of new little ones I will have 50 new plants so yeah oh happy days <laughs> So, just wanted to show you that they're all transplanted now. Obviously, some of them are bigger, so they will take in nicely, hopefully. So, I made a little row here, just at the edge of the lawn, just by this huge Okuga hedge that we have at the back of the garden. So, hopefully when they grow they will look all really nice and it will it will beautify this corner of the garden and i also managed to plant many of them on the smaller one into this um cells and hopefully they will grow on from here so i can then transplant them directly into the garden Again, short but sweet. Hope it was helpful. Uh, I hope I um, got a bug into you of gardening today. So uh, up until next time, take care of yourselves and yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.